definitely. Um, that's that's cool. Um, so how how can people listening to this call right now go about finding finding their own niche? Well, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, that's a great question, and, I, and I've seen that you know pop up before. And I think that when you're picking a niche, you just have to find something you're extremely passionate about. Now, you know, I'm crazy passionate about fitness, and thankfully, because I, you know, I have created the category. It's my niche is more of age. It's more age based. Ultimately, I'm teaching fitness, but I'm speaking to. I'm speaking to a, you know, a, a, a specific age group of people. But you have to pick something you're very passionate about. You know, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I, I love kettlebell training. I absolutely adore it. And maybe if I hadn't have come up with, you know, 30 plus boot camp, I may have gone down the road of, you know, um, doing something very niche with kettlebells. As it is, I do 30 plus boot camps and I do use kettlebells in that boot camp. But I, I, I love kettlebell training. I do it myself about three times a week. I use it with my clients and I get really excited and passionate about teaching kettlebells. So, you know, I, I think that the, the, the individual, the fitness trainer has to go, actually, what, what really excites me? And actually, what do I know most about, you know? Yeah. It could be, you know, it, it, your niche could be, you know, helping people that have, uh, you know, recovered from heart problems and things like that. Or, you know, it, you know, it could be, you know, helping people improve their, you know, their um, marathon times or things or something like that. Whatever, you know, think about, you know, you know, as you are now as a fitness professional, what do you really look forward to? What, what part of that day, what client do you really look forward to? And what is it that you do with that client? Really, really think about it. Is it... Is it, you know, um, is it functional training, multi-joint stuff? Is it, I don't know, interval training? And, and really just sort of just pick your brains and go, right, what, what am I really, really passionate about? And, you know, thankfully, I, I w I'm passionate about getting people fit. And the 30-plus idea, you know, just basically came to me because of me being a male in my 30s, you know? Definitely. Definitely say, like, you just recommend people just to really, really dig deep. Yeah, absolutely. And just think about, you know, in, in that day-to-day, -day, in your day-to-day -day life in the fitness industry, what excites you most. Uh, and, you know, and, and then just delve a little bit deeper into it, and I'm, and I'm sure you'll find it, you know? And then you'll get that eureka moment like like yourself, Mark. I, yeah, I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I've had I've had sort of two eureka moments in the fitness, well, you know, in the last five years. And one was um, when I actually decided to become a personal trainer. I'd always attempted fitness and tried fitness but I was generally using you know running as a vehicle for fat loss which was okay as a youngster um, but didn't really do me any good once I discovered going out and drinking beer and eating curries yeah. and um, and I actually signed up for a 10k race which I hadn't run in years about 10 years this was like five years ago and um, I turned up I was a lot sort of two stone heavier than I am now and and wobbling a little bit and I did this race and um i was actually in the top 50 out of about 700 runners because i'd always been a pretty good distance runner and as i was running around the course uh, the sun was out birds were singing it was, it was a day in february and it just literally came to me sam i had my ipod on and i said i am going to be a personal trainer i know what i want to do for the rest of my life and i literally went home told my girlfriend at the time it was relieved because i'd been pretty mixed up until then about what i wanted out of life and googled a course and I just took massive action on it. I, I found a course base in Bristol. Uh, I literally funded the course myself, and I just went for it. And that was my first Eureka moment, you know, becoming a personal trainer and, and, and just going for it. And the second Eureka moment was, um, was basically then coming up with the niche for my boot camp. And they've been, they've been great moments, you know, because they've brought me a lot of success. Yeah, that's beautiful, man. Um, so in one sentence, um, what words of wisdom would you give to someone who's just starting out in the health and fitness industry? Oh, yeah, actually, I was, I was thinking about this a lot today, mate, so I was reading over the questions. A couple of things. You have to, you know, um, don't be driven by um, trying to make money. Like, I think a lot of people now are getting into it because they think, all oh, personal trainers can charge this an hour and you can earn this much an hour doing boot camps. When I had my Eureka moment, I didn't even think about what I could earn as a personal trainer. All I wanted to do was get out of my crappy job, which I hated, um, and wanted to do something that I was passionate about and what made me want to get out of bed in the morning. It was only, obviously, once I qualified that I started to, you know, set up my business that I even sort of 
It's like, oh, right, okay, I can earn this, okay. But it, it's not a get-rich-quick industry. The, 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 the cream will rise to the top, and the, the not-so-good people will get found out. You have to be passionate about clients' results. If you're just doing it simply because you like training, that's not enough. You want, you've got to be passionate about getting people fit. Like, I, I, I am so proud to say that I have helped people change their lives. You know, people with alcohol problems, drug problems, people that have uh, been in car accidents or they, they've been, um, they, they've had horrific things happen to them in their life, which I, w I won't talk about on the phone, but not just people with, with, with weight loss issues, you know, people with depression, anxiety. I take so much pride that I've been able to, to help them. And, you know, for me, that's, that's the biggest buzz. You have to be passionate about changing people's lives because, you know, for me, discovering what works and getting fit and having clean nutrition has changed my life. You know, I, I wake up and I have loads of energy and, you know, I, I go to work and, I, and I'm, I'm happy and I, and I absolutely buzz for it. And people say, you know, Mark, why have you got so much energy? You're always so happy. And I say, well, you know, five years ago I was in a job I hated. I was overweight. I had no direction. And thankfully I, 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 got, I had my Eureka moment and I acted on it. And, you know, I feel great and I know what can make you feel great and I want to help you achieve that, you know. You have to be passionate. That's the first one. And secondly, never, ever, ever stop learning. You know, every day, whether I'm learning about, you know, anatomy and physiology or the latest techniques or marketing, I am reading, researching all the time. You know, the, the being a personal, be, getting your personal training degree is very much just the base. You know, when I look back to the first session I ever taught, to the sessions I've just taught tonight, you know, um, <laughs> the session I just taught tonight was a million times better. But... That doesn't mean what I was doing in the start was wrong. It just means that that was where I was then, and this is where I am now, and I know where I continue to want to go. You know, I'll never stop investing in myself, doing courses, um, both on marketing, nutrition, fitness, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, you know, because how can you expect people to invest in you if you're not investing in yourself? Um, so be passionate. Be passionate about people's results, and never, ever, ever think that you know it all. You'll never know it all. I, I know I know more than I did five years ago, but I still don't know enough. And that's why I continue to strive to, to learn more and better myself every day. Hey, man, that's uh, definitely some wise words. So, Thank you, uh, buddy. So just to everyone, be passionate and uh, ne ne never stop learning. Never stop learning, dude. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I'm I'm learning every single day. So, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, mate. You got to keep it. You got to keep it going. Hundred percent. Um, so where can people find out more information about you, Mark? Absolutely, mate. No problem at all. Um, I've got three sites. My personal trainer site is www.fitnessandmotivation.co.uk. That's and A-N-D. Um, you can find more out about my boot camp at www.30plus, that's 30plus, P-L-U-S, bootcamp.co.uk. 30 plus bootcamp.co.uk and my website which is going to be the the platform for my forthcoming information products aimed at guys in their 30s with little time um who at the gym is 30 plus men's fitness.com there's loads and loads of free content on there um and right well, at the minute we're just sort of building our following and and getting people to sign up to our list and just giving away loads of free content so there's the three sites you can find me and i'm, I'm on facebook uh, mark tregilgas if people want to give me an ad in the fitness industry i know that's what we're all doing these days sam we're all yeah. seeing people's mutual friends and adding them because at the end of the day it's networking and that's how, uh, how that's how we evolve so you can add me as a friend on facebook um, and I've got all my uh, all my fan pages like Bootcamp, 30 Plus, 30 Plus Men's Fitness, and Fitness and Motivation on there as well. Definitely, I'll uh, I'll, I'll put, up, put up all the links for everybody to see. Wonderful, um, wonderful, mate. Yeah, okay, I highly recommend everyone going to uh, 30 Plus Men's Fitness. <laughs> Thanks something. very much, mate. Like, honestly, it's really good, and like your ninja, your ninja stuff is really good as well. Fantastic, mate. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, no worries. Uh, cool. Well, again, thank you so much, Mark. I know you're serious. No, Sam, it's an absolute pleasure, mate. And listen, you know, keep doing what you're doing. I downloaded your free ebook, and uh, that was fantastic, mate. And um, you know, it's, it's it's great to be on board. And um, you know, I hope this helps uh, develop your uh, develop your niche and your brand as well as you're helping me out as well, buddy. Oh, no worries, man. No worries. Um, we're, we're all striving forward, and we're all absolutely, and we're absolutely, buddy. 
yeah, we'll all reach our full potential for sure. Um, Great stuff. Definitely cool. Well, um, I'll, I'll leave you to have a nice evening, Mark. And all right, Sam. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll speak to you soon, bud. All right, take it easy, buddy. All the best, Sam. Thanks very much, mate. Take care, bro. Bye.